Okay, Math Nines, welcome back. In this video, we'll look at the surface area of some other composite objects. Okay, so similar to the last video, uh, our focus here is going to be determine, to determine the surface area of composite objects, this time um, that are made up from uh, prisms and cylinders. So we're going to extend it from just rectangular prisms to uh, triangular prisms and cylinders. Okay, so couple of examples here. First one, let's find the surface area of the following um, objects. There's one on this page and then we'll look at one on the back. Okay, so first of all, just a prism. A prism, remember, is uh, any object that has the same cross-section throughout. So um, this is a prism. It's made up of, uh, of two shapes. One is a rectangular prism on bottom and a triangular prism on top. So I'm just going to imagine chopping those two along that line where they separate. Okay, so in this question, I'm gonna I'm gonna break this up to look at um, each face individually. So I'm gonna call that top side face A. The top side face A that is just going to be a rectangle that has dimensions of 10 and 3. So the area of side A is going to be 30 centimeters squared. I'll leave the units off as I go through and we'll include units at the end uh, just to, to keep it looking a little bit cleaner. Okay, um, side B, side B, I'm going to call this entire side. So side B it's going to look something like that. It's going to be made up of both a rectangle and a um, a triangle. Okay, so I'm going to put some dimensions on here. If this entire side is 10 um, and this piece of it is 4, then this top half has to be 6 and then the bottom or the base is 8. Okay, we have to keep in mind there are two of these sides. Uh, there's one at the front that we can see. There's also one um, in the back. Okay, so finding the area of these two sides, we are going to have a triangle and a rectangle. Okay, so um, the area of our rectangle or the bottom is going to be just length times width or 8 times 4. And then we'll have to add to that the area of this triangle on top, which would be uh, base times height, which is 6 times 8 divided by 2. Okay, and then keep in mind that we are going to multiply this entire thing by 2 because there is the front side, there is also the back. Okay. So times 2. Then we have to do some order of operations and say, okay, well, within this brackets, we have 8 times 4 is 32. 6 times 8 divided by 2. 6 times 8 is 48. Divided by 2 is 24. We have to multiply that entire thing by 2. 32 plus 24 is 56 times 2 for a grand total of 112. Okay, side C, I'm going to call side C this rectangle here. Side C is a uh, rectangle that has dimensions of 3 times 4. So you'll notice as I'm going here, I'm, I'm labeling each side. I'm sort of making a, a code. Now I'm labeling each side, and then over here I'm putting a... I'm showing what I'm doing. So I'm showing my work by saying, hey, side A is going to be that rectangle in the area of each thing. And at the end of each area that, I'm, that I know I'm going to need to add at the end, because the surface area of a composite object is just the sum of the areas of all of the faces, uh, I'm just going to put a circle around the numbers that I know I will need to add at the end. It will make it easier for me to find um, at the end. Okay. Um, side D, I'm going to call this back side. Side D is going to be a rectangle that has dimensions of 10 by 3. And then E is going to be the bottom. And that'll be a rectangle that has dimensions of 8 times 3. And I think we've covered all the sides, so now we just need to figure out our total, which is just going to be the sum. So that'll be 30 plus 112 plus 12 plus 30 plus Okay, and if we add up all those numbers, we should end up with 
208. And then we'll put units of centimeters squared. Put a big box around this thing, underline it, and there's our final answer. Okay. Okay, we'll flip over to the back side. We'll try one that has um, cylinders in it. Okay, this example on the back, uh, it's two cylinders that are together. Um, with this question, I tend to do this a little bit differently than what your textbook will show you, but I like to just visualize, um, or I like to think of this top exposed circle of the top cylinder. I like to think that if I'm looking from the top, if I'm looking um, at this shape from the top, think of like, Hey, there's there's my eyeball. I'm looking down on this thing. Um, what I'm going to see on the top is just going to be um, it's going to be a circle. Now the circle is going to be the area of that circle is going to be made up from two different shapes. Uh, it's going to be made up of this the circle from the top cylinder, and then all, then this band or this ring like uh, area from the bottom one. But if I consider that both of those areas belong to the bottom, then I will have counted the area um, on the top of uh, of this shape. Okay, so I, ho I hope that makes sense. So how I'm going to um, separate this one is I'm going to say the um, bottom cylinder is going to have an area of 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h, and that is going to be the area of the surface area of a cylinder. Uh, that's going to include this bottom side, it's going to include the top side that I just described, and it's also going to include the side um, of that, I'm going to erase that because I don't want that to confuse you, it's going to erase the, or include the side of that bottom cylinder. Okay, so the radius of the bottom cylinder, the radius of this bottom cylinder, we're given this diameter is 26, so the radius that we'll use in our calculation is 26 divided by 2 or 13. So now if we plug and chug, Put in numbers for our radius, and our height is 5. Should get some numbers here. If we plug this through in our calculator, we should put dots there to include that they are, or show that they are multiplied. Um, if you multiply those out, we should get 1061.86. And a reminder, make sure to um, make sure to use the pi button on your calculator, not 3.14. Um, the area of the sides is going to be 408.41 for a total of 1470.27. I'm going to circle this because I know I'm going to use that later. Okay, so now on the top cylinder, top cylinder, I'm only going to include the area of the sides, or the area of the side Maybe let's do this in a different color and show, hey, we're just figuring out this, the area of the side of that cylinder, which is only going to be um, 2 pi rh. Now remember, the area, the surface area for a cylinder is, uh, is what's shown at the top here, and this is the first piece, the 2 pi r squared, that just includes the two circles on the ends. So the second part, the 2 pi r h, is the area of the sides, which is just a rectangle, um, if we think of unfolding it. Um, the radius of the top cylinder is 14 divided by 2, or 7, and the height of that is 5. Okay, and if we do that 2 pi times 7 times 5, we should get a value of 2, 19.91. Okay, make sure to check that in your calculator. And then our, our total just going to be the sum of those two numbers, or 1470.27 plus 219.91, which gives us a grand total of 1,000,000. Centimeter squared. Let's circle that. Underline it. And there is our total, our answer. OK, 
Okay, so hopefully that gives you an idea of how to handle a question where you have some cylinders and a little bit more difficult shapes. And our big idea uh, for this chapter again is to uh, find the surface area of composite shapes. And this time our shapes are just a little, little trickier. Okay, our assignment for This section will be numbers 3 to 5 from page 40. Okay, hopefully that gets you started, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.